everyone. So in this video, we're going to go through how we simplified the live streaming setup with Media Live and AWS. So to get live streaming, you can go to the live streaming section here, or under AWS Media Services Media Live. Okay, we're just going to click here. Now under Create Stream, let's just create our stream, and we're just going to type in fish because we're going to be calling an aquarium. Okay, and then this is where you can add your start and end time. So these are the start and end times of the stream. So it's currently um, 10:26. So we'll start the stream at 10:30 and then we'll stream for five minutes until 10.35 and we're in the London Europe time zone okay and we're going to create a uh, Cloudfront distribution and we're going to start the channel as soon as the stream um, as soon as the channel is ready okay so I'm just going to wait until this um, sets up the channel for us okay great so this has set up the channel now and it's starting the channel um, so it's given us our player code already and it's given us our um, RTMP URL to stream to so let's go ahead and insert that we're using OBS it's completely free type in OBS software in Google and you'll easily find it there's also a link and you just take the key off the end which was fish and then you've got your stream key fish and your um, server so let's just go ahead and click start now it won't start straight away because the channel will still be setting up it will still be getting ready and um, preparing but it will start shortly but what we can do is we can take our player code go over to our WordPress website paste in our code here now if you want to put it behind a product you can paste in your code here and select the product if you want to monetize your stream but we're obviously for this tutorial we're just going to paste in the code so we'll click update okay so if we go ahead and go and take a look at our player you can see that our players here information and the live stream will start in one minute so let's go ahead and take a look at OBS so you can see that OBS has gone green now so it started streaming to our server so let's go ahead and take a look so you can see it's still starting if we want to look at the details we can take a look here and it will give us our RTMP um, URL player HTML our start time is at 1030 and our finish time is at 1035 okay and you can open the player we don't need to do that so what we'll do is we'll just wait for this to change to running and it's also created a Cloudfront distribution so everything's done for you you just need to wait for this to complete running and for this then to go to 50 seconds so I'll just pause the video where this counts down okay so as you can see it's counted down to our stream time it's now currently 10.30 so we can click to start the stream And I'm just screaming. In, I'm sorry. I'm just streaming my second screen. Okay. So if we press play now, then you can see it started streaming my second screen. Um, now the great thing about this is if someone's missed the start of your stream, they can actually live rewind back to the start of your stream. Okay. So that's really important functionality to remember is that if someone's missed your stream. It's going to be great for them to be able to skip back to the start of the stream. And when the stream ends, this will then automatically turn into a VOD asset with Media Package. But we'll show you how to harvest that. Some of this probably isn't making a lot of sense. Basically, when the stream's finished, it's going to save it. And then what we're going to do then is create a VOD asset off the back of that. Okay. So we can actually go back to the start of the stream here. Okay. So it's just for people to be able to go back and see your stream. And then they can click live to go back to the live um, setup. So I'm just going to pause the video while this stream ends in five minutes okay so as you can see we're currently at four minutes 30 seconds into the stream and what you'll notice is it will start to count down um, towards the end of the stream so if you just watch the actual player do you see how it switched so now it's going down to 10 seconds I'm um, sorry uh, 15 seconds now until the end of the stream okay um, so this is when we're wrapping up the stream it's currently 10:35 and what it will do is it's no longer going to be a live stream it will turn into a VOD asset okay okay so as you can see the stream has finished um, but what will happen if we run a refresh on the page so if someone's come and they've missed the stream then they can still view it straight away so it's instantly created a VOD asset okay we can click play okay and now they can come and view the stream okay so this is really good the way it's created this VOD asset but what we can do now is we can go ahead go to OBS we finished our stream stop streaming okay I'm just streaming by the monitor we can go um, back to S3 bubble and now we don't need this stream anymore okay because we've actually finished streaming so what we can do is we can delete the channel okay it can take a while to delete the channel mainly because first of all if you've stopped your um, channel it will delete a lot quicker but if you haven't 
uh, we go ahead and we stop it for you and then we delete it but you so you're probably thinking if you've deleted the channel you've deleted the stream this is not true because the stream is actually stored in media package okay so you can see our stream is still live on our website so people can go ahead and view the stream still um, but let's just uh, I'll just pause the video and wait till this deletes okay great so as you can see that's deleted our channel so our channel has now gone and this is important to remember once you finish your stream always delete your channel you don't want to leave your channels running um, kind of especially when it's running with OBS because you will be charged by AWS only use the channel for the period of the stream okay so now if we go ahead and take a look at media package media package is what is saving our assets to be played here so we're not using the backup you can go ahead and just delete the backup okay um, but we've got our media package channel here so what you're probably not going to want to do is keep your media channels here running you're going to want to create a VOD asset and store it in an S3 bu bubble um, an S AWS S3 bucket uh, so you can play back on your website okay so you don't need to have the actual media package so to do this very simple we create a harvest job now I'm going to enter in my details where I want to output the um, assets to okay so you can see I've put in my bucket I'm gonna output it to a folder called fish and it's gonna be connected to a CloudFront distribution and the um, assets are gonna be created between the time frames of 1030 and 1035 so let's click submit okay um, and we can go ahead and take a look at our harvest job that's running okay so you can see our job is running now in progress so I'll just pause the video until that completes okay great so as you can see our job has now succeeded so if we take this player code simply head back to our website update the player code okay now if we go to the player you can see that this is now turned into a VOD asset so this is now playing from our S3 bucket with CloudFront okay so we can go ahead now and go back to S3 bubble go over to media package channels and just to show you that it's all doing what it's supposed to be doing we can delete this channel now the media package channel Okay, so that's gone we've cleared up all our streaming assets and we can come back and run a refresh okay and click play so what we've actually created there is a very powerful setup so we've created a live stream in a specific time frame to allow people to rewind live back through the stream so if they missed the stream that they can go back to the start um, then what we've done is then we've turned well that's automatically turned into a VOD asset with media package and then after that we have then created a harvest job um, which will then create almost like an archive page so if you think of it like a sports channel like the NBA for instance we could have done a live stream people can then go back into the stream to the start of the stream if they've missed it um, they can when the streams finished it creates a VOD asset that can again though go into the archive of um, games that have been played okay so that kind of layout it's a very kind of powerful setup okay so this has been simplified um, we hope you enjoy the new setup any questions please contact us on the live chat on the s3 bubble website thanks